Hey everyone, Rick here and welcome back. I'm just running to get the, the camera. I'm halfway through washing my truck and I thought, well, what good place, what a good place to start the year with a video of my build on the truck. I've been asked before, not asked to show it, but you can see that there was some interest in, in my build. Uh, but first, I hope everyone had a happy new year, good Christmas and all that. We were very busy. We run an Airbnb here, so, so that's why been a bit vacant for a little while just just too busy before I get into explaining what I've done to this truck by no means am I I'm a mechanic uh, I'm not an electrician an auto electrician uh, or a car detailer so there's not a whole lot that we did inside but we did add some mirrors so when we've got our our trailer on i can actually see behind the trailer so it, it uh it comes in handy they say you're not supposed to use it while you're driving but i use it while i'm driving because i can see who's behind me uh perfect for um for lining up this is a uh, safety dave um i don't make any money so you know but uh, apparently they got some good gear that's why we have it and we've got this thing i don't know what you call it uh, put that up there so we could have our radio up out of the way and we keep all our extra sunnies up here uh in the back the only thing we've got in the back we have our little hat holder which again i'm i'm not smart enough to come up with ideas but so i stole that from somebody i saw that somewhere so uh, works a treat the only thing the other thing back here is these little these little back storage i don't know what you call them they're storage containers they got all kinds of little pockets i didn't think we'd ever fill them up they're all filled up with certain stuff you can just see we've got our coffee cups flashlights knives all kinds of stuff in there on the outside of the truck so so before we get to the actual canopy build um the the outside of the truck one of the first things i did was i put on a, a new winch if you watch one of my videos oh man did we get stuck i wasn't worried because we had a winch but uh, again you know i didn't check the winch when we bought this this vehicle and it was absolute trash so uh, we were stuck pretty good anyway we're still alive. i'm here so we're still alive <clears throat> i put on this runva uh and i was just checking it today and it won't work so uh, i know that the isolator switches are notorious for failing i don't know if that's it i've actually just made a phone call uh got it booked in to have this checked out plus there's another little thing inside i think it just comes down to fuses i looked into it these things i swear there's about three thousand fuses so above me again an electrician so i'll see if i can come up with some photos because i've got photos but I've got new springs, I've got new wishbones. Uh, gosh, what else have I got in there? On the, on the back, right here in the back, I replaced the leaf springs. There are 350 constants, I think, from memory. New shock absorbers in the back. Basically, all the suspension has been replaced on this vehicle. I paid about 32,000 for this vehicle. It was used, 140,000 kilometers on it. Uh, for me, luckily, it hasn't missed a beat. Although, although for me, even if I bought it new, I think I'd get rid of the, the stock suspension. It just, it's just enough to get by. So once you start doing stuff, loading stuff, putting things in there, and actually using it for what it's supposed to be used for, the stock suspension, in, in my way of thinking of things, it's not much. Let's put this down for a minute. Uh, one of the things I've added was a 270 awning. Uh, it's by Bushwhacker. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, I think it was about $1,600. We'll say that the uh, the brackets on it are just chintzy. Uh, cheap paint job. They started rusting oh, within three months. So they're they're pretty. I don't know. Shit house. I've, act, I've actually taken them off and re fixed them up, repainted them, but I don't think it'll, it's going to last much cheap steel. Now, some, some people say, oh, 
it looks like it's attached to also the front of the truck, but it's not attached to the front of the truck until 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 we're parked. And there's a little got a little thing here. And this isn't the prototype, the first one didn't work. But this literally goes through this bracket right here. And it goes through there and it goes into a screw that I've got silicone so it doesn't move. So then this is stable because if I put all the when I pull this out, when I actually pull this out and set it up, this this whole thing here wants to start sat bending like that. So that's why I put that in. And it only comes out, this only gets put on when we're set up. The minute we go somewhere else, it comes off. Obviously. Duh. Okay, so the box. We got the box from TC Boxes down in Sydney. Uh, I think they're about middle of the road. You know, they're, I'm, I'm always going to believe you get what you pay for. They're not bad. They don't leak, so that's one good thing. We've got two lights put in here. Again, all the electrical was done not by me, but by the boys in town. Um, the, the Bushman fridge, absolutely superb fridge. Never had a problem. Always cold. As a matter of fact, we usually sometimes we have to turn this down. So that's turned on, turned off. Turned off. The one thing about the fridge, uh, again, because I'm so new to this, like I wanted to get the bigger fridge in from floor to floor, it fits, but because of the opening, it wasn't about to fit. So you got to make sure <laughs> your measurements are all right. So the thing is, when this opens up, I can only open it up to there. I can't open it up any further. Uh, it's not a huge uh, problem, but it would be, it's, there are certain times when I think, oh, I wish I could open it up further just to get put something in like this tray. Anyway, it's a good fridge, but you pay the money for that. Um, you can see this. I built two little slide out tables. They work an absolute treat. Well, I ask questions many times, you know, all this space, you got all this space in here, up here, up there, up there, there's all these little things, and, and people said, don't worry, you'll find, a, <laughs> eventually someplace will find a home in there, and, and sure enough, that's exactly what happened, got a little, I, I carry water, extra water in that, couldn't carry uh, fuel, that makes it super easy to get to the top, which I'm up there two times at least, on every camp trip, I've got, I put on new lights. The other ones are broken and just, just cheap and nasty. That's another thing I forgot to say. I've kept the old, the old tray on there and I've cut this out. They had a great big, big ladder rack here. Pull that out and I cut, I literally cut this back and to make it look nice, I just painted it all black. You can even see the, you can even see where the sides attached. Let's go to the other side. The other side, okay. Um, I built all this out of wood and timber, just painted it black so it looks kind of nice. Up here, little flat things. I've got two solar blankets. Uh, it's not here at the moment, but we've also got the um, induction stove, which is an absolute treat, which is why I got this. You can see we've got two. We were, I would have got rid of this one, but uh, again, I'm kind of lazy uh, to get that out of there. Oh, I said, nope, we're going to have two. So when we use the induction heater, when we use the induction stove, I use this inverter. And normally I use this smaller one for my laptop. Uh, this drawer here, empty at the moment. This carries all my, this carries all my uh, video gear, the drone, the cameras, uh, everything. Again, another, The other table gets used a lot. The tables get used an enormous amount. And sometimes when we're traveling, just want to pull over for a cup of coffee or lunch, uh, they're perfect. Don't have to get out of the table.
There's a solar panel on the top up here. Works a treat. Uh, I put these on. I've seen them on other vehicles like this. I think that's why I did it. The problem is, is it's put on that much weight. When I put this up, the struts don't let it go up. So I have to, so I have to kind of like just keep my, my hand there for a little bit until it gets to a certain point, and then it's okay. Uh, I know people say change the struts, and I know I just never get around to it. So that is our setup. I know there's some spectacular stuff out there. You know, you look at some of these guys out there in these big Toyotas and $250,000 caravans. You know, you get all this envy. Okay, and they're great, but uh, we're quite happy with our little rig and our little camper trailer. Uh, we do quite nicely. We really enjoy getting out there, out and about. And it works. It works very, very well. Except for the winch. We're about to go to, up to a little place called, I think it's called Old Camp, up in um, Barrington Tops, I think to the south side of it. Uh, that's in about 10 days, so that'll probably be, so that's going to be the next video. So until next time, we'll see you all later. Enjoy yourselves. Stay safe.